The Unteachables, Chapter 16, Parker Elias. Jake Terranova! Everybody knows jumping Jake Terranova, who will jump through hoops to get you a great deal on a new or used vehicle. The billboards are all over town. Although to me, Terranova Motors looks more like Aramovent Rotors. Anyway, there's no mistaking the face. This guy's famous. What he, what's he doing in room 117? Mr. Kermit has an expression on his face, as if he smells something really bad. It's the way he looks when there's a Vuvuzela blaring. And since the Vuvuzelas are gone, it can only mean one thing. He hates Jake Terranova's guts. Miss Fountain steps forward. I really should explain, Mr. Kermit. I ran into Jake, that is, Mr. Terranova, at my parents' country club. I wanted to see if he remembered me. He sold me a Prius last year. Mr. Terranova smiles with all 32 teeth. Great car. Are you in the market for a new vehicle, Mr. Kermit? Emma loves hers. Makes me feel good to know I'm helping the environment every time I drive, Miss Fountain says with a meaningful look over her shoulder at Ribbit. Our teacher's eyes get so narrow that they barely slits. Anyway, Miss Fountain goes on, we got to talking and your name came up, Mr. Kermit. I told him about the story in the telegraph. The car dealer cuts her off. This should come from me. He turns to Mr. Kermit. I read the article about the Vuvuzelas. They mentioned something from, oh, the past, something I was involved in. Our teacher has his teeth clenched until his lips have practically disappeared. Mr. Terranova used to be one of my students, he exclaims. explains. His speech clipped some years back. That's not enough. They should hear the whole truth, he addresses us. You might have heard about a cheating scandal. Well, Mr. Kerman had nothing to do with it. It was me. I can't believe the newspapers dredged up that old story. Don't worry about it, Mr. Terranova. I assure him. None of us read newspapers. I do, Matteo puts it. Middle Earth Weekly? Of course, it's more fanfic than news. The car dealer gives him a strange look. The point is, I don't want you kids to think that Mr. Kermit did anything wrong. It was my fault. I got caught and I got suspended for it. No kidding, Aldo pipes up. We just got back from being suspended, but I didn't think it would happen to a big shot rich dude. Barnstrom snorts a laugh. He wasn't a big shot when he got suspended, dummy. He was a kid like us. Aldo and Barnstrom wheel around in their seats, turning belligerent expressions on each other. But Mr. Terranova quickly steps between them. Guys, I was in middle school once too. You two want to throw hands? If you two want to throw hands, there's nothing I can do to stop it. But not here and not now. Aldo and Barnstrom back down. The car dealer faces Mr. Kermit again. So I came here to apologize, which I should have done years ago. And if there's anything I can do to help out, you know, with this class, all you have to do is say the word. Thanks for your generous offer, our teacher says stiffly. But that won't be necessary. Of course we want your help, Miss Fountain explains. And it's pretty obvious that this was her plan all along. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mr. Kermit's sour expression gets worse. I'm sure Mr. Terranova wouldn't appreciate it if you and I went to his lot and tried to sell cars. And he would be just as unsuccessful trying to teach our students. Be reasonable, she pleads. He's built a business. He could... Give a math unit on earnings versus expenses or how to amortize a loan. He could let us tour his repair shop and maybe teach us about basic auto mechanics. He could let me take out a Dodge Viper for a test drive, I add. I have a license. <clears throat> Mr. Terranova doesn't answer. He's beaming at Miss Fountain and at the moment he looks exactly like his picture on the billboards without the flaming hoops, obviously. It's a date, he says, and Miss Fountain's cheeks get all red, even though it isn't really hot in the classroom. Well, maybe, Mr. Kermit concedes, if the curriculum allows. We don't have a curriculum, Mateo points out. We just get worksheets while you do crossword puzzles. That costs him a puffy tail.